I'm working on a couple of XD5 videos. Check out the nifty cage I got for it. But I did want to make a quick video on something that is kind of new. And that thing is this little Arca Swiss plate from Small Rig. Just being able to set the camera down and leaving it alone without actually having the camera or lens touching the ground really is something that I enjoy. You can check out my last video where I went over my camera rig that I take to sporting events, specifically World's Strongest Man in that video. And a really big part of it was the iFootage tripod base that I attach to every rig. Now, a lot of the other camera guys there ordered their own afterwards because I was able to just kind of place my camera on the ground. And it's phenomenal for that kind of environment, but sometimes when I'm out and about in the street or for my my personal camera, I need something a little smaller. So I broke down, got myself an XT5, got my XH2S here that I use for some pro coverage and also personally. And I saw this pop up in my suggestions. I've never seen it before. I think it's relatively new. Start taking this off, but I wanted to mention it does have like a small, of course a small rig. They managed to fit a hex key in somewhere. This is the smallest one I've seen them make though. Let's take this guy off and see what we're working with. Now, they do have a Manfredo plate version of this, and that makes a lot of sense for people who are probably traveling to shoot video or have one of those portable video head tripods. I got the Arca Swiss model because I, I plan on just using this like if I'm doing locked off shots. Because if I'm doing locked off shots, like for my personal stuff, I'm just going to be using my Peak Design tripod. It does look like a Manfredo plate, but it is uh, Arca Swiss. Let me lock my face so you can see it. Focus, there we go. Uh, it also does have these uh, anti-skid rubber pads on that I'm sure will wear with time. And it does have two screws, so I'm guessing that means that they intend for this to be used with uh, a cage predominantly, but I used it on my little Rico GR and just turned it sideways and it was fine. And I'm sure you won't have a problem using the quarter inch thread on the bottom of your camera. Now all my stuff, almost all my cameras are constantly caged up. And I just wanted to note that not all of them have it centered. Um, it's still like for this camera, this is a relatively light one, the X-T5. Uh, it still balances very well as you saw, but I guess like maybe there's a camera that might have it offset and might have a heavy lens. I don't know who would hold it up. Probably, probably not a problem anyone's gonna come across. I just wanted to make mention of it. I normally don't make videos on stuff like this, but it's such a handy product. And I feel like when a company makes a product that's just different enough to solve a problem that I have, and if they made it clearly, I'm not the only person who has this problem, uh, it's worth talking about. If it didn't pop up in my suggestions, I wouldn't have known that, that it existed. A little pricey for an Arca Swiss plate, but I mean, it's the first of its kind. There goes that sun. There we go. Uh, it does have, I don't think like it's intentionally adjustable, but you can kind of move the legs to reposition it a little bit. And I think that probably helps when you're trying to balance this on like your backpack or something to get a low angle shot. It doesn't tilt up or down. Obviously it would be a lot larger if it did, but you could probably kind of like work in combination with everything you have to get whatever angle you wanted if you were in a pinch. I'm a big fan of convenience. I also have this uh, peak tripod for my phone that I'm a big fan of. And this is about as close as you can get to something like this for a camera that's still secure. That's it for this video. I thought it was neat. Just wanted to let you know, but I do have more coming up, so stay tuned.